Hey, Godzilla. Did you know that you're sexist? I'm sorry, I'm kind of still waiting for an answer. It's everybody's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend because your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Cause black friends are rare as you should be aware. He's popping Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everybody's friend, it's Tyler. It's everybody's friend, it's Tyler. That's right, according to an article, apparently Godzilla 2014 has elements of sexism. The article is titled, Four Godzilla Problems We Need to Address. That article titles makes a lot of sense. I mean, after all, Godzilla's a kaiju, and so kaijus are pretty big. As much as I personally enjoy Godzilla, and I really quite a bit, ever since I walked out my screening, I have been nagged by the thought of some critical issues that didn't quite ruin the film, but certainly do their part to take it down. I'm not going to read every single last thing in that article, I'm just going to focus on the part where it claims that Godzilla is sexist. Let's be fair, Godzilla is far from the only modern blockbuster to be completely lacking in interesting female characters. Actually not really, like every single year, Marvel tries its hardest to have interesting female characters, so uh, what are you talking about? Sexism has been a significant and bad thing in Hollywood for decades, and the sad truth is that a great number of big budget studio movies don't really bother developing their female characters. But that's the thing, it's not just female characters, it's also male characters in movies, like, it's not really a gender issue, it's just lazy writing. By Noche's character is killed off within 10 minutes of meeting her. She was not killed because she was a female, she was killed because she was like the love interest of Brian Cranston. Olsen doesn't really do much more than worry about her husband and panic during the destruction of San Francisco. Like, what the hell do you really expect? This is a Godzilla movie, it's supposed to be about chaos and destruction. The reality is that any of the male characters in the film could have been easily altered and played by a woman, but instead Godzilla gives all the meaty parts to the men. Dude, have you not paid attention to the Godzilla franchise? I can name you at least three strong female characters in the franchise. Look at the terror of Mechagodzilla, look at Monster vs. Godzilla, and look at the Evasion of the Astro Monsters. Those movies, among many, and many, and many Godzilla movies, has strong female characters. However, just because one movie has no female characters talking and do nothing at all, does not mean that the entire franchise, therefore, must be sexist. Also, there are female monsters like Mothra and Biolante. So again, it's not just the human characters that are diverse in the franchise, but it's also the monsters. As far as the strongest male character, look at Dr. Sarazawa. I'm not going to spoil his whole entire character, but basically he's like the strongest character in the franchise. Godzilla is not sexist, right Godzilla? Yeah, I thought so. It's everybody's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend because your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Cause black friends are rare as you should be aware. He's popping with your fire. Sit and stare. It's everybody's friend. It's Tyler. It's everybody.